Hey guys, what's up? This is Billy from adultcello.com and today I want to give you three tips to pull a straight sticky bow. So I'll explain the sticky part in a second here. So what's a straight bow? It's basically a bow stroke that's parallel to the bridge. Okay, we all kind of know that. It's very hard to do, however, because the bridge is curved, the fingerboard is curved, and so that throws the angle off. So what we consider a straight bow parallel to the bridge is going to feel not straight put it mildly when we're first learning it, okay? The other question you might have is why does it even matter to pull a straight bow? If you don't pull a straight bow, essentially it becomes harder and harder to keep your contact point when you're playing. So if you're playing a note with a straight bow I can hold one contact point and sink in weight and have a very consistent sound throughout the bow stroke. What I see happen a lot is that you don't have a straight bow fully and so so as I'm playing because I'm not holding I'm not drawing a straight bow the tip was coming up and I was basically losing power and, and sound quality as I got to the tip. So today we're going to look at how to pull a straight bow and I also say a straight sticky bow because that was the other thing that plagued me. I was such an assiduous student. I would videotape my lessons. I would go home and I would study them like, you know, like football players, baseball players, they study tape of the opposing team. I would look at my teacher, break everything down and I'd come the next week and, and soon my arm was looking more and more parallel to the bridge. Unfortunately, the sound was not changing as drastically as my arm motions were, and it's because I was sort of mimicking the motion. <laughs> wasn't doing the right thing to actually draw a rich sound. So that's technically, you know, pretty parallel to the bridge, but the sound is not what I would like. So that's why we're going to hit it from both angles. We're going to work on physically what it feels like to achieve a straight bow, and then how to work on really getting a sticky, beautiful bow stroke throughout a straight bow, okay? So let's get right into it. Tip number one is to trace the bridge. So what for that, all I'm gonna do is I take my bow at the frog, and I'm gonna put the hair literally on top of the bridge, okay? So this is not for sound, and I'm not gonna really press down when I uh, pull a bow stroke, I'm just tracing the bridge. So I'm gonna try to move the bow and make sure that the hair basically stays on the bridge as much as possible. It's harder than it looks. Now, you might be wondering, okay, that sounds great. How on earth am I gonna know looking downwards? For this exercise, for the next two tips, and for all your practice in general, I highly recommend having a full-length mirror, or you could take a cell phone and put on selfie mode, just have some kind of visual feedback, especially when you're working on straight bow. So here we are, I pulled out all the way, the bow hair is still on the bridge, and now I've traced the three-dimensional arc my arm is going to need to create in order to pull a straight bow. So to make it a plain, uh, you know, a playable bow, you would just take it with both hands, move it up without changing the angle and boom you're basically there this is a really good way i think for most of us especially on the a string we're just going to feel like i had no idea my hand had to be that far out kind of over my right foot <laughs> so that's that's just kind of going to be the sensation all right so that's the first thing alternatively if you go ahead and place it at the tip on any string and then with your left hand get a really good hit grip of the bow so that it doesn't drop. You can then take your free right hand and basically just trace the stick with kind of a, a bow grip shape. Okay, so nothing super weird with your hand, just kind of lightly pronated 
and then the further you get out, more and more pronated with the, with the hand. And that, this will kind of give your arm a sense the how it's going to travel, how it's going to open up. Okay, tip number two, we're going to make a bow stroke and we're going to stop the bow every couple inches. So what I want to do is I'll start and I'm just going to think about... <laughs> get all the way out and I stop five times ten times whatever it is what I want to do is really feel that I have a really sticky nice grip every time I restart the bow So that, that's basically a way of pulling and checking your work. And again, you do it in front of a mirror. You pull, you look in the mirror. Okay, that's off. Or, hey, all right, that's straight. Boom, I did it again. Okay, it's straight still. Good, keep going. Or, okay, now it's starting to get off. So this is a part where my arm needs to do something different. Otherwise, I start to get off. Final tip, tip number three is martelet. Okay, so I'm mean, going to demonstrate it in two ways. I'll do kind of a strict martelet at first. What I like to do is to stop halfway, okay? So we're not going to do a martelet stroke that's the full length of the bow. We're going to stop halfway because I see in a kind of somewhat simplified version of this, I see the arm doing two basic things. For the first half of the bow, your arm is opening and closing as a unit, okay, led by the elbow. Then you get halfway. Now, if I kept going with the elbow, if I keep moving, you can see from the tip of my bow, there's, there's no way for me to continue moving my elbow and maintaining a straight bow. It's gonna pull it off. What I do next, now the elbow's gone as far as it can go. That's when I hinge at the elbow and open and close the forearm. So it's two, generally, it's two very different arm motions. So, to do the martelet, what we do is we load up, nice and sticky, put the weight on the first finger, and then you pop it into motion and go. Okay? And then, same thing. So, by doing it a real fast motion like that, it kind of tests your physical memory, because you don't have time to make little corrections so if you, if you pop it into motion <laughs> and you get something like this, okay, there, obviously the way I pulled did not work out because here's the result. Okay, so it kind of, it sort of forces your hand. It shows you what you're actually doing. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, pretty good. So I'm focusing on the first one. On the first, lower half, I'm focusing on the arm. Second half, I'm op focusing on opening the form at, in the right way to keep it straight. Now, that's the kind of a strict martelet. What I also like to do is just a general, like, kind of juicy, delicious bow stroke, also broken up into two halves. What I want to do here is check to make sure I've got a straight bow and then also you just want to feel in this I'm trying to feel like without crushing the string adding a whole bunch of weight I just want to feel like I'm I've got a really sticky hand almost like petting a dog and you can move the skin on his head when you pet him you know because you got that kind of sticky hand so it's not it's not kind of surfacy and skidding out making sure that you're really also pulling a good sound good sound with a sticky hand okay so there are my three tips. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much.